Mayday, mayday, mayday. 631 Bravo Whiskey, what's the nature of your emergency? Uh, my husband, something's happened to him, and I'm flying the airplane, but I'm not a pilot. Confirm the pilot is incapacitated. Yes, sir, the pilot's incapacitated. I've got two children on board. I want you to keep all your turns real gentle. Make a left turn, please, to a heading of west. This is like the silence before the death, is what this feels like. Hey y'all, I'm Jenny, AKA Poppin. This is me. Riding in our small plane that we use for our family vacations. Yeah, I'm not having a great time there. And this is my pilot husband, Eric, AKA SoCal Flying Monkey. I've always been really nervous to fly in small planes. When we first got our plane, I had to take anti-anxiety medication just to be able to get in the cockpit. We've had some fun adventures flying to fantastic places like Sedona, the Grand Canyon, and all around California, along with some rough times. Holy sh Overall, I've gotten a little more comfortable and figured out a way to manage my anxiety and air sickness. But every trip we take is a personal challenge for me to get over my fears of riding in the plane. And always in the back of my mind is the question, what if something happens to Eric? I'd essentially be alone to get the plane down safely with precious cargo in the back. How can I be prepared in case Eric becomes unconscious? We got in touch with Jason Miller, an award-winning flight instructor with over 20 years experience and creator of the Finer Points Aviation Podcast, YouTube channel, and Ground School app to talk about it. Despite my paralyzing fear of touching the airplane controls, we asked him to teach me a pinch hitter course so that I could get the airplane safely down on the runway all by myself and the freak chance that I would have to. Yeah, it's nice to meet you too. Um, you know, I think I understand it right. Like, so you're not a pilot. You're not interested in flying outside of... I'm, yeah. I'm terrified of flying. <laughs> I've thought my lessons through pretty well. I'm going to get a parachute and just kick the door open and <laughs> exit the plane. I can feel the pit starting yeah. in my stomach and it creeps up and my chest just goes. That's yeah. already happening. Our mission here is to make sure that you can, you know, just first control the airplane um, and make sure that you can communicate with air traffic control, find your way to a big wide runway and put the airplane down in a state that everybody can get out safely, right? Like, do you have any horseback riding in your life experience? I do. I have a, quite a bit. Do you really? Oh, but that's I'm so Texas. good. That's fantastic. That's really great because the airplane, in my opinion, behaves much more like a horse than like a car. Um, I think that that horseback riding experience will come in really handy. We'll have a lot of uh, analogies to make there and it'll light up some light bulbs for you, I think. That, that's something that I, I love doing. I wish I could do more of it. Jenny, we're going to get it done and we're going to make it okay. Like you're going to, you're going to, uh, this is, uh, this is like my specialty. I can't wait to see this. <laughs> With the plan set, we flew from our home base in LA up to Grass Valley, California to meet up with Jason. He had kindly sent me a book to study up ahead of time. The angle of attack is the angle at which the wing meets the air. Eric, what is Romeo, the angle think, of attack? It's the angle at which the wing meets the air. Like last night and today, you were almost having like Why panic attacks because of this. I, like I still am. I'm nervous about that. When we're, you know, a bit I'll, 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 have, I'll just have to scrap it. Say I'm sorry to both of you. Oh, you think there's a possibility you're going to get in and start it with him and just be like, no, I can't do this? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and that's okay. I don't want you I would you to... say there's a 50-50 shot. If you get in the plane and you're like, you guys are going and you can't do it, it's okay. Yeah, I know. I'm not worried about that. Yeah. Well, can tell me until you're blue in the face that nothing's going to happen. Like, Jason won't let it happen. I'm worried that any time I have the controls, like if you told me to grab them right now, that I'm worried that I'll I'll do something to fuck it up so badly that, that I will crash the plane and kill us and a bunch of people below us. But I'll, like, put it into a tailspin that you can't... Right. That's a good thing for us to tell you Jason. You can't recover from. Yeah. Yeah. I know. We landed in beautiful Grass Valley. And met up with Jason. The next morning, I woke up with a huge sense of dread and felt the heavy weight of anxious anticipation and fear but it was time to start flying. Rotation. 
The thought of controlling the airplane on my own seemed impossible, and the thought of landing it by myself seemed like pure fiction. I had no idea if or how I would be able to do either. And we're going to look at three gates to the plane. Okay. <clears throat> Calling them gates specifically to stick with the horse thing. But the gate that you know that you and Eric normally fly at is essentially a gallop. Okay. So that's the one that's most familiar to you in the airplane, right. is a gallop. Okay. We're going to learn how to slow it down to the trot. Oh. And then we're going to learn how to slow it down to a walk eventually. While we're in the air? Yeah. Yeah, while we're in the air. Uh, we're going to draw a line on the horizon. Okay. And just get you connected visually to what's happening outside the airplane. So we're here in cruise flight. I'm going to start us off at what I would call a canter. It's not exactly a gallop. I'm going to uh, pitch up just a little bit. So look at your line. And just tell me when you see see that. Tell me when you see the line going up. Yeah. Oh, good, you can see that. That's really great. That's really subtle. Cool, and then you can see it. If the airplane started to kind of go left a little bit, you can see that that's what's happening with your line. Yeah, yeah good. All right, I'm just ask you to sort of take the controls. I'm on there with you, so don't worry about it. Good, just like that. Yeah, perfect. Um, try if you can, just one hand. Let's see what happens. It's your right hand. Perfect, just like that. And try to just keep that line right there. Let's see what happens. We'll see if the horse tries to eat grass or anything. But do what you need to. Like, if you see that line go down like that, go ahead and pick it up. Like, see how we just picked it up together? I came on the controls to do it, but we picked it up. Nice. And this is where, when we talked about the airplane being like a horse, for the most part, you don't have to do anything just like a horse. For the most part, you're just holding on loosely. And, and the thing is galloping or cantering, in this case, on its own. Every now and again, you have to do what you just did right there. With your right hand. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's great. That's all it takes. If you're, if you're super nervous, you're, you're you know persevering through that well. You really are, because I'm noticing all those little like that, those little subtle corrections you're making. I'm having a very big internal battle of telling the, you know, the side of me that's so scared just to shut the f up and let me not kill us. <laughs> I'm trying to relax my body. I feel like if I can keep my body like a jellyfish, then I won't kill us. I think that's chapter five. It's stick and rudder, be like a jellyfish. <laughs> <laughs> the jellyfish analogy. <laughs> I was starting to get a feel for basic control, and the next challenge was making some turns. Jason demonstrated how, and then it was all me. You know, push the left wing down just a little bit. That's great. We're going to keep it real shallow, so let's just say like that much, and then you would just neutralize it. And then just don't let her nose go down. Beautiful. That's really, really good. And if she starts going too much, like getting over anxious like a dog, just pick up that left wing. and Use whatever strength you need to to say, no, 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 that's too much. Beautiful. <laughs> you're flying a plane. That is insane. I'm super impressed with you. Yeah, you're doing a really good job of it. You actually have a really good feel for this. Uh, I was just saying to her, good girl. You're such a good girl. Right. Look at you. Right, you guys are de developing a relationship of trust where you really need to see that she's going to do what you want her to do every time you ask, right? Yeah. And that it always works, and yeah. that all you have to do is know how to ask, just like riding a horse, and she'll do it. And I think um, the more you see that, and the more you see what kind of behaviors she really has, like any animal, you develop a trust, right? So you'll right. start to trust the airplane. That's awesome. I just want it to be done, though. <laughs> like, it doesn't, like, I'm, I'm still like, hey, okay, that's right. good, we're done. <laughs> all right. You know, right now we're cantering along here. I think the next place for, for you to go would be to what we would call a trot, but just something slower than we are now. Jason taught me how to power back the plane, raise the nose to increase the angle while maintaining lift, and trim off the back pressure with the trim wheel while recognizing the slight difference in the higher angle out the windscreen. He has an incredible way of explaining complicated concepts in simple terms and an amazing ability to connect with his students to figure out exactly what will make sense to them and make them feel comfortable. He's publishing his take on this experience over on the Finer Points channel. So after this video, be sure to check out his for a flight instructor's perspective on all of this. When you tune into the machine now, I don't know if you can hear it, it's a little quieter, her nose is a little higher. Yeah. The flight controls feel slightly different, not a big deal. This actually is the trot, by the way. I said it wasn't because I don't want to freak you out. <laughs> I don't love um, the trot.
trot. Yeah, <laughs> right, okay. That makes sense. Um, no, I, I mean, I can do it. Yeah. I was pretty uncomfortable flying the plane at a slower speed, and before we could even think about learning to land, Jason taught me how to fly specific headings that air traffic control would give me to get to a runway. And we practiced flying lots of headings. So they're going to give you headings to fly, they're going to point you at a runway, but I need, we need you to end up over that runway at the right speed. So, yeah, absolutely. so you have to go down and slow down at the same time, which is challenging. Right now, I feel like if something happened to Eric, I could absolutely control the plane. That's great. That's all. That's it. <laughs> and we're stuck. <laughs> and we're stuck in the air. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the world's best landing. You know, the airplane can take a pretty tough landing. We practice slowing down and descending together. Go ahead and pull that back just a hair and keep the brown hill kind of where it is. Then it was time for my first approach to the runway. Just take the throttle over here and pull it back and let... Now let the nose come down so that we're aiming at those big white marks on the front of the runway, like we said. <laughs> All I'm thinking is like, oh, we're really f coming in. <laughs> <laughs> it could keep us up in the sky. Someone could oh, you're just actually like doing great. parachute down into the plane and take over. Uh, that's not going to happen. You're doing great. Hold, like When you get the nose where you want it, just hold it right there so that those numbers or those solid white marks or whatever it is at the beginning of the runway there, stay fixed. Like right now they're disappearing under the nose, right? Right. So you want to push forward so that they go right back to that place they were in the window and stay there. Oh, Good. And it's all right. You're doing great. This is insane. What's going on? Push forward. If you don't see those marks anymore, that means you need to push forward. Good. Oh my God. No, nice. no, no, no. Nice. You did so good. Let me take it for a minute here. That's why you don't freak out with... Um Turbulence, it's not as scary when you're the one driving it. That's right, that's correct. What I want you to feel here is we're going to need these flaps, so go ahead and pull the notch. I've got the, the yoke here. Pull that up and feel what that feels like, and it clicks into place. There you go, that's the first notch of flaps. And you know what it feels like to me over here? Is it feels like the airplane just wants to pitch up. Like, feel that push, push against there. That's the, oh, that, so you yeah. have to trim that away. Okay, okay, so trim that away, trim forward again until you can see those marks. Push forward, more forward, more oh, forward. The other way, the other way, forward. Other way. Yeah, yeah, forward. There you go. Like you're pushing the nose down. You're doing really 500. well. 500. If you trick me into landing this plane, I'm going to be upset. <laughs> I'm not going to do that this time, but that's coming eventually. Pull the power all the way back and keep those marks right where they were. So power comes all the way back, keeps them, keep the marks where they were. Good. And if they start to go up in the window, then you pull back a little bit. There you go, like that. It's really good. Yep, try not to do the rocking. Okay, I've got the airplane. i got the flight controls. Okay, that was really good. You did an awesome job on that. You really did. You did Holy fantastic. Crap. Yeah, you did. You did really good. That was amazing. You're going to be able to do this. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're really going to be able to do this. Yeah, that was good. That was insane. I was just, like, dramatizing it in my head, like, thinking that the girls were going to be, like, you can do it, Mommy. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> You're doing good, Mommy. I think you've made a lot of progress based on where we started today. I, I'm, like, yeah. shocked Are at you? where <laughs> I great. am right now. And I, like, awesome. I only want to call my daughters. That's, like, That's all. So great. I'm like, I want to call my daughters. I want to call them and tell them, like, oh, my gosh, I think I might be able to do it. <laughs> That's great. I finished out the first day of training feeling a little more comfortable and confident but I was still worried about being able to talk to air traffic control, getting better control over the airplane during the approach, and of course, landing. So we headed back to Grass Valley to get a good night's rest to be ready for some intense flying in the morning. Before we get to that, I wanna take a moment to thank all the SoCal Flying Monkey Patreon members for making this content possible, along with the sponsor of this video, NordVPN. If you watch this channel, you know that we take safety and security very seriously and value freedoms and privacy just like you. And that extends beyond aviation into everything we do, including our personal data. We're always flying to cool new destinations, hanging out in FBOs, hotels, Airbnbs, and airport terminals using their Wi-Fi networks, which can be vulnerable to hackers. That's why we use NordVPN, a virtual private network to encrypt data and create a super secure connection to keep our passwords and information safe whenever we fly somewhere. 
Another awesome benefit of using a VPN is that we can get access to networks and shows not normally available in certain countries. So when we travel out of the country, we can still access all of our favorite content on services like Netflix and Hulu. Go to nordvpn.com slash flyingmonkey or use code flyingmonkey to get a two-year plan with a huge discount plus one additional month for free. The next morning we woke up early, and this time I felt a lot better about the day ahead, but I knew it would be challenging. In the back of my mind, the thought of having to land that plane hung over me like a dark cloud. Jason taught me how to dial in the emergency frequency for air traffic control and set the transponder to the emergency code. Okay, all right, I'm gonna get out now, you got it from here. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get out. With some basic knowledge of air traffic control communication, it was time to see how I would do in a simulated emergency, putting my newly acquired skills to the test under pressure. All right, so you and Eric are flying along. I would be sleeping with my mouth open. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, he just kind of like does one of these. I'll tell you when to take it, because maybe you don't know that things are bad yet. You really don't know that things are bad yet. Oh, Jesus Christ, Jason. You really don't know things are bad. Okay. I do. All right, you've got the airplane. Ling wings level. Don't pull out of it. Roll out of it. There you go. Good. Now I'm going to call Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. You are. Okay, so Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. And so someone would say, who's saying Mayday on the frequency? Just identify the aircraft calling Mayday. Uh, this is N631 Bravo Whiskey. 631 Bravo Whiskey, what's the nature of your emergency? Uh, my husband is, has, I don't know, something's happened to him, and I'm flying the airplane, but I'm not a pilot. 631 Bravo Whiskey, uh, confirm the pilot is incapacitated. Yes, sir, the pilot's incapacitated. I've got two children on board. 631 Bravo Whiskey, uh, Roger, ma'am, is the uh, aircraft under control at this time? Yes, it is. I have it under control right now. Uh, 631 Bravo Whiskey, Roger. Uh, do you know how to work the radios, ma'am? Yes, sir, I do. Uh, Roger, uh, please come up on my frequency of 121.5. We'll get you to an airport and we will help you get the airplane. Do you want me to actually dial that right Yeah, now? go ahead. All right, I'm going to try to take you over to Re uh, Lincoln Regional Airport. I want you to keep all your turns real gentle. Uh, we are going to turn left now. Make a left turn, please, to a heading of west. West, okay. All of a sudden, it gets really real when we do the role play thing. Like, Good, yeah, that's the idea. That's not to cry, but I'm crying. it up and not do it. Hold it together. Hear the kids in your head. You can do this, Mom. <laughs> this is like the silence before the death is what this feels like. Just to be <laughs> completely honest, that's what this feels like. I managed to get established on a heading toward a runway. Oh my Just God. like that. But the approach didn't go quite as well as the first. That mark where it was, the mark's ah. going away. All right, I've got control. it. I got it. Oh, thank you. All right. <laughs> I got it. You did great. You did really great. Are you okay? We don't often have to simulate and practice tragic events. And in this moment, the overwhelming sense of responsibility hit me. Call me out, tiger. The full Call gravity of having to save my family's you. lives and possibly living without Eric simply overtook my emotions. Lift me up higher. We practiced approach. Jesus Christ. After approach. Not bad. Uh, not bad. After approach. That was not perfect. I would kill everybody. Until finally, I started to get the hang of it. Beautiful. Much better. All right, let me take the plane. Hey, that was really good. But I still wasn't ready to land. So Jason thought it would be a good idea for me to do a takeoff to build a stronger connection with the plane. All right, you're going to give us power for takeoff with your left hand. You're going to have your right hand here, and you're going to pull her off the ground when we get there, OK? I'll talk you through it, yeah. All right, ready? All right, before we have one power. All the way. Keep going all the way. Oh, my god. You're doing great. Yep, all the way in. That's perfect. Really good. Yeah, and then look at your reference point up here. She's about ready to fly, so see if you can pull her off. It's going to be a little heavy. And muscle it back. Pull with your right hand. You got it. Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god! Alright, so there's your first takeoff. That was amazing! Is that good? That's always a good, always a good feeling. 
All right, good. So you're going to fly here a little bit. We're going to make a left turn. Just keep this On this training session, we decided I wasn't quite ready to actually land the plane. But I'll tell you how to see that at the end of this video. We'll drink morning dew. This experience gave me a whole new confidence that I can overcome my strongest fears and do the things I thought I never could. We got to the point that I don't want to admit out loud that I actually enjoyed myself wow. a little bit. <laughs> I heard that. Is that on camera? <laughs> it is. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> I was able to confront a situation that I could barely stomach even thinking about and realized it's like anything else in life that you're afraid of. The more you understand it, the less scary it becomes. I'm hoping to carry this momentum with me into other areas of my life. Taking command of the airplane has inspired me to take command of my own destiny. As far as actually landing the plane, I'm still absolutely terrified. Jason's coming down to Southern California, so we can finish my training in part two of this video series. And if you want to see my complete training flights in a more raw and uncut way, become a SoCal Flying Monkey Patreon member. We'll be rolling out a whole series of complete flights in the next few weeks. We can't make this content without the support of our awesome Patreon community. Subscribe to this channel and click the bell to be notified so you can see me try to land the plane. And be sure to check out Jason's channel, The Finer Points, along with his incredible ground school app to learn to fly your best. Maybe I'll see you in the skies.